having some problems here having to start the game without oh, I'm playing Hawkeye. Uh, I can't get why is it it is not showing Here we go. Nope. It's not showing the game as an option. Is it here? I'll try and learn a few book moves. <clears throat> Here, <clears throat> it should show me an option to choose. I don't know why I would have it under Hog Eye Message. Okay, well, whatever. It seems like it's working now. Uh, here, I don't remember. Maybe here? Here. Okay, he completed this square. I remember that. We're only on move five. And he could sack here. I think in the meantime, I need to have a pawn up or something. Let's try that one. I'm way behind schedule. I'm just now getting everything set up. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and get my chat going here. He can just hold on a minute. Maybe here. Okay, now I have that going. <clears throat> Believe it or not, I think I can play this move safely. Now this next move, I'm not so sure about. I remember looking at this before and it was like, Something like, um, if he plays d5, I play. Think here, here, here. Right there on this square, I end up with isolated pawns. <clears throat> Maybe here? Let's try this. I'm going to check my setup and make sure I got everything going right. Hello. I don't know why on Twitch the volume is so low. I listened to last week's broadcast and it was incredibly low. I'm still going to end up with isolated pawns. Okay, I could play here. work on getting this one in eventually. That could keep me from having isolated pawns because if I take here, it's this and this. If I wait, like if I push this pawn, he takes, I end up with isolated pawns. I think I'm going to go ahead and try this. I missed out on all the chat. No idea who's on today for our team. What a rock chess. Where does this piece go? I think I want it outside the pawn chain before I do all this. I don't think there's any hurry to do this. Wow. Uh. 
All right, I got to settle in. <clears throat> I spent two and a half minutes getting my setup going. So I'm going to chase this piece down. This is going here next, and I'm going to work on making that move. Which I think I can do. Eventually. He is very much not wanting to let me do that. See, I play here, threatening that pawn and threatening that piece. He could just say he doesn't care about the pawn and play something like queen a4. <clears throat> then I could take his bishop off. I'm kind of thinking about this move. Of course, when he moves his knight, he's going to be able to play b3 and kick my knight back, and I'll lose this pawn. Play here, he moves his knight. I capture, he captures. And then I've got to do something about these pawns. So I'm going to play there. I'm higher rated than this guy. That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> now play here. <clears throat> I don't think this move is that great. He blocks his queen from going to that square. If I capture here. I can't defend it, so I'm going to have to do this. And now, right here maybe? Monday team battle. Sorry about the squeaky chair. I'm going to do something about it someday. I'll play here. <clears throat> Attack this pawn he's got. Try to figure out a way to get a kingside attack going. Wow. He plays right down in there. I can play up. There's some thunderstorms here. There's a monster lightning strike right outside. So I may lose my connection tonight. I don't know. I can hear it rumbling around out there. I really think I need to... I think I need to do this. That king seems awfully open to me, although I'm behind. I mean, he's ahead of me in development. Just trying to figure out, I mean, what target do I want to go after? You know, this one is what I, I think. <clears throat> In the end game, this is my weakness, but he can 
you know, he can put his pieces on this file. I'm actually thinking about whether or not I castle or I just play king here at some point. But if I do that, I got to watch about out about the C file. Okay, he is hitting that pawn. Am I really that worried about that pawn? I could take here first. That, but I don't think there's much point in doing it. I think he's going to play over here. <clears throat> Could play here. Keeps us. Can play here. Keeps his bishop off, I mean, his rook off that square. And if he trades, this mouse is. I, got, I had to switch mice, but this mouse is not really great either. He trades there. It's still going to take him a minute or two to get going over here, I believe. Which will give me time. To go after these targets. Okay, if I go here, he takes... I actually am thinking about playing here to keep his queen off that square. That way my king can still sit here. <clears throat> Remove that. This piece can even go here, threaten that square. Remove that capture just in case he takes it off. Old hog eye. That's what I thought he would do. Okay, if I capture, you know, he could take time out for this check before he recaptures. That puts my king here. Then he captures, then I play check here, king up. Somehow I've got to get my queen in there. The alternative is I play here to keep him from checking me. I may have to castle at some point. Rook takes, queen takes. That's right, he's still got this move. And stop me. Check, king up. You know, actually, I can check right now. Check. If he takes, I take the rook off. I'm not sure that piece isn't worth more than a rook sitting down there on e3. He can stop me from castling if I do this. Hey, queen, queen checks. I think I'm going to take the piece. Let's see what he does. Okay, now I'm going to check here.
He's going to push me over. I have no doubt of that. Right now, I have to play here. I believe. Yep, the old hog guy. Here, button that square. My queen does have that, but he's gonna have checks down here. My king, I hope my king can sit here. But I'm not so sure that that'll happen. He could even play, oh, he can't play that right now. I was just thinking about if there's a way for him to trade queens, which will hurt his attack. I mean, uh, which will hurt my attack. Let's see, if I take this piece, actually, bring my queen in, he's going to be able to check me relentlessly down here. He'll be able to prepare me, maybe even mate me with this knight. i got to be really, really careful about that. So I am threatening to come back here. Although that's a lot less important. If I play here, he can always just unpin. Oh, he's going to take the queens off. I don't have a choice. Here, how's he gonna hold that thing? He's gonna hop in here with his knight, maybe. If I grab this pawn, his rook will have that square, which is trouble for me. I can come back here and attack this pawn and threaten this check. But all that does is put his king back on the back rank again. And then I'll have to move the rook. I'm going to have to go after that pawn. I can't let him queen it. He wants to put his knight in here, I'm sure. I need to play this pawn up soon. Stop any of that business. The more I look at it, the more I like this move. Still keeping his rook off that file. I go here. I get this rook check. King moves. I can come over here. I've got to. I've got to look at getting another mouse. I'm having trouble drawing these arrows. Okay, he's gonna go there. Which means his knight can come in here now. I hate to give up one of my bishops. If I play here, he play he still can't go there. I'm gonna play there. Keeps his knight out. <laughs> Next I'm going here. You know, he could play his knight right here to keep me out of that square, which would be a, yeah, and he does it. Pretty good move. Let's see. If I take this thing off, I can come back and take this pawn, hitting his knight. 
going to have to do that. He's going to get the my e pawn now. This mouse is hesitating every time I make a move. Have I castled yet? I could possibly. <laughs> the old, no, I have moved my king. I remember. Look at this. I'm moving the mouse and my king's not moving. This is really bad. I think I'm going to lose a piece here. You can get this pawn. And that one. Okay. I move up. I'll get his pawn. He will get my pawn. Oh, I can't do that because I don't want to lose my bishop. Rook check here. King moves. Oh. I remember one time I had trouble with a mouse and I had to type in the, the, the moves. This was on FICS. I was literally typing the moves. King E2. Whatever. He's got these connected pass pawns out here. Oh, he's got more than that. Okay, I'm going to check here. He's plus two. Oh, good move. He's going to he's going to offer a trade of rooks. Uh, how do I avoid that? Go here, maybe. You'll go here. I can trade my bishop here, depending on where his rook goes. I don't really want to trade my bishop. The old hog guy is plus two against me in the end game. It's going to be hard to hold this one. Huh. He does that, huh? Now, this pawn's hanging. I got to do something about that. Guess I could move here. Guess I better make a move before I flag. I didn't realize I was that low on time. I can't get to that G pawn. And I need to. I need to get to his G pawn. This knight's been a really great piece for him. I was wrong about it when it was up here. It helped out in a lot of ways. I can hear it really thundering out there. Oh, that's odd. And he's willing to trade pawns. Every time we trade a pawn, it just helps me. I've got to seriously watch out for this, these double pawns over here. Okay, if I move here, can he defend that G-pawn? He can with his king. I mean, i got to watch this clock. Because I didn't realize just how low I was. King up. Rook can't. What's he thinking about? The rook can't defend it. He's, gonna, he's sure not going to play 93. He might actually just push his pawn to here. Wow. I did not expect that. I flagged. Great. That's me grabbing the mouse with grabbing the rook with this bad mouse and not getting it to move. I'm not going to use a, a Wi-Fi or whatever you call them, a wireless mouse again. Let's see who else on our team this time. T 
too. Awestruck. Ibarra. Me. Floppy. I think that's, that might be the first time I've flagged in, in these tournaments. I don't remember flagging another time. I almost wonder if I shouldn't go get try and go get another mouse. I should have paused. Maybe when I do Book of the Week. Because they're going to pair me in a minute. The problem was my old mouse, the left mouse, I played so much Puzzle Rush with it, I like very quickly broke the the left uh, mouse button. So I replaced it. What Tony D's on? He's been playing pretty regularly lately. Hopefully the power won't go off. I think it just blinked. Napierville Kitty. 3-0. and I recall this guy's pretty good, though. I may have to do a thing where I move the, you know, like click the square of the pieces on, click the square of the pieces supposed to go to. He played the classical. Wow. What do I have against that? Sozin again? Yeah, I'll play that. here. I don't really know what to do in these openings. Move seven, I'm out of book. If I could make it to move ten and I was still in book, that would be something marvelous. I'm still the only one streaming on here. Let me check this over here real quick. Everything looks like it's cool. So I guess it's all working. Play here maybe. Plays here. I have no idea. I'm going to castle king's side. Here. Yep. The power blinked again. I can't believe I flagged. Well, at least I was lost. He got in D5. Battery low. Yeah, it's all right. I'm only at 30%. Battery 30%. Thanks for letting me know twice in a row. Uh, where does this piece go? Take, 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 take. Take, take. Move here. He could move here and go after my bishop. I'm going to move it here. Be really nice if I knew some plans in this position. That would be really super. I think I am going to go here. Man, this mouse, this thing is not any good. I mean, it was okay for doing other stuff, but I've been using it for a couple of days. He 
You might even be able to hear those the thunder out there. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Now that's a tall pond. I want to go right here. Maybe over here. Now the position's kind of opening up. You know, he's got the isolated queen pawn. I can work on that in the end game. Maybe. Could be. I don't want to mess up my pawns. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm willing to go into the end game. He's got the isolated pawn. That was what I thought was the right move. He moves here. He moves here. Like something like this. Of course, I could move here and I could sit there without any worries. Got a bad bishop. <clears throat> I've got the two bishops. This should be a winning game. But I'm not an expert at winning these kind of positions. All right. And the knight goes from there to where? This was here. I could play there and win the knight. I mean, it is a threat. It means he'll have to deal with it. Bishop takes. Queen here, maybe? I just saw that. He can play bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes, forks my king and queen. Can't let that happen. So if bishop takes, I need to do something else. Quickly. Maybe here. Let him retreat the bishop, play f4. He moves the knight. I made him. Maybe that'll work. Just by Jason. Seven queen f3 was equal. I wish I knew what game that was. Yep, that's what he did. Okay, if I play here, I'm hitting this piece. 
x-raying that square, hitting this piece. Maybe we'll try this. This guy's complaining he hasn't had a game. He's been waiting 10 minutes. That's a long time. After this game, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get Book of the Week. I'm going to get a water. Get set up for the rest of the tournament. I usually play four to five games. I don't think this game is going to last forever, but I could be wrong. He's like me. He's using his time. Back to work tomorrow. Christmas break is over. Christmas break is over. Christmas is over. You know, his queen is guarding this piece, and if his queen moves here to guard guard that piece, I get the knight. If the knight moves, I take the bishop. If the bishop retreats, I play f4. And if the knight moves, I checkmate. Is there a way out of this? I don't know if there is. Goes there. So if I play this move, I've got that check, that check, and go back there. Really, there isn't much else he can do, is there? Uh-oh, I just hung a piece. This game is looking bad. If I play back back here, protect this piece, what on earth did I do? That was really, really bad. This guy's up a pawn and a piece. Ick. Yeah, that's right. Let's let him fork my king and queen here. That'd give me a good reason to resign. Uh, wow. Tactics. I've missed two very important tactics in this game. I guess I'm going here. He's probably just going to take the bishop, and I wouldn't blame him. Well, let's see. Now that I'm doing some bad in this, let me think about Book of the Week. I hadn't selected it yet. I was thinking earlier. I found it really interesting that I saw an interview with Magnus Carlsen. Uh, that chess base India guy was interviewing him after the Blitz tournament. And Carlson said um, that he was, look at this, check, guy's taking pieces off the board. Well, in that case, well, I don't want double pawn, so I'll just take his queen. That way he can have either this pawn or this pawn. That was a nice, nice selection on my part. Um, yeah, Magnus said uh, he was actually reading that, that book by John Donaldson on Fisher. 
he was talking about that, and he said that um, Fisher had um, there was some variation that Fisher played. And the white side of it was a D pawn thing, you know. So he was like saying, you know, here's a D pawn opening the Fisher played. I guess it would have been from the one of the Spassky matches. Because it was, I mean, it was definitely not a, an e pawn opening uh, that he that he had. Um, oh, nice! Look what I just did with my rooks. I'm getting very close to resigning this game because it's obvious I'm going to lose it. This guy, I beat this guy three in a row. I'm down over a rook. I mean, you know, maybe he's wrote, maybe he's been doing a lot of puzzle rush. Just play on. Usually, I do book of the week about a quarter till eight. Well, I don't think there's much point in playing this game out. Crushed in 30 moves. Gotta love it. He's gonna get a queen? Gosh, what is it with these people? I mean, I don't do that kind of thing. I, I use uh, the pieces on the board to end the game. It's just amazing to me that he would... I mean, I know everybody does it. They always want to get a queen. Then they want to get a second queen, etc. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this great, Floppy? I mean, this is some brilliant chess, let me tell you. I'm going to resign in a second. I just want to mess with it a little further. I, you know, I could do a spike check. Rook takes F7 check. <laughs> All right. Where's the resigns button? Right here. I'm going to go get book of the week. Let's see, pause, pause, we're back to the tournament. Which one do I do? You know, Floppy, that guy that, that wrote you that message, I wondered if maybe he, uh, I wonder if maybe he, if his account was closed for cheating because he played and then they didn't pair him again. It sounds like he was cheating and they slapped his account or whatever, you know? Anyway, book of the week. In the water. Hopefully, I can get through the rest of this show without paying more rooks. Ugh.
Okay, let's do pick of the week. Since I lost 22 rating points on that game. Yeah, it's got to be that. I, I was tempted to write to write in the chat window, were you cheating? You know, and, but he wouldn't have liked that very much. Um, the book I selected for book of the week has an interesting history, how I came to find this book. Yeah, no, oh, really? I think there are a lot of kids on that team and they don't, you know, they don't know any better or whatever. Um, so book of the week is Isolani Strategy. Chess University, it says at the top here. Chess University, the Russian Chess House. Alexander Belyovsky, that guy I know of. That's the guy that, like, yeah, I think he defected in like the early 80s. Karpov met him in a tournament. And he wouldn't shake his hand. And there was a picture of like Karpov sitting at the board, writing on his score sheet, and Belyovsky standing there with his hand out. He was still standing. Karpov was seated, filling out his score sheet. But Belyovsky, this other guy, Mikhail, and Stetska. Isolani strategy, strategy, strengths and weaknesses of the isolated queen's pawn. Uh, this is a very thin book, hardback. And um, uh, I haven't looked at it much. It's um, this standard kind of thing. Not 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 you know tons of variations. Um, but uh, I'll tell you about the history of how I came across this book. This is more interesting probably than the book. Two hundred thirty eight pages. Yeah, hardback is nice. Um. Part one, the isolated D, D4 pawn. Part two, the isolated D5 pawn. First part has four chapters. The second part has four chapters. Attack on the king side, D4, D5 breakthrough. Attack on the queen side. Defense based on the blockade at D5. I mean, I definitely had that guy positionally beat last game. I can't believe I played that badly, but that's the way it goes. Um... Anyway, it's 238 pages, and uh, this is a, okay, I'll tell you the, the recommendation of this book that I got, because I bought this book over 10 years ago. It's uh, Russian Chess House, Moscow, 2012. Okay, I say over 10 years ago. Was it less than 10? Or was it 10 or around 10? I thought it was around 2010 when I got a hold of this book, but I guess not if it has a Copyright of 2012. I must have just, I think it was reissued. Um, this book can be ordered directly from the publisher at the website. Chessm.com, whatever. Um, oh, this is an interesting quote. Siegbert Tarash says, anyone who fears an isolated pawn should not play chess. Um, anyway, I used to be on ICC. And I used to like to watch the broadcasts when they were talking, you know, like they would have grandmasters uh, discussing games of these tournaments that people were playing in. I like to do that. And, um, you know, this interesting analysis by some of those guys. So one Saturday, I am, uh, I, I think I had just connected. And I heard John Fedorovich, known as the Fed, saying, oh yeah, no, this book's a really good book. It's, it's, got, it's got, it'll really help you to understand the isolated queen pawn. I read this book. I love it. Blah, 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 all this stuff. But I, I missed the title of the book. So I went into the chat window and I wrote, uh, hey, can you guys tell me what the book, the book title is? Because I missed it. So some smart guy writes back in the chat and he says, yeah, it was Chess Bitch by Jennifer Shahada, which was a book that she wrote. And I was like, oh, great. Some smart guy, you know, telling me, you know, so I got up and started walking over to the refrigerator here in my kitchen. And all of a sudden I heard the Fed talking to me. My net handle on there was the same as Lee Chess. It was Deep Geek. I heard Fedorovich say, 
Deep Geek, let me tell you, the name of the book, because he saw what was written in the chat, and he saw that the guy was wouldn't tell me the name. He said, Deep Geek, and I was like in, in my refrigerator, and I went, what? It's, is he talking to me? He said, the name of the book is Isolana's Strategy, and he gave the author's names, and you know, told me, you know, this is the name of the book and everything that you can find. And so I put in the chat, thanks a lot, Fed. You know, I really appreciate it. And then I went out and ordered it. So here it is. Chess University, whatever that means up here. Doing this backwards is not easy. Okay. And these are the authors. Beliovsky. You know, these guys I know have written a couple, uh, maybe three or four books together. Uh, isolated strategy, strings and weeks. It's just a slim little book on isolated queen pawn positions and how to play them. Of course, the one by Babarin is the one that's, which I also have, is the one that's the one everybody wants. My friend uh, around here read that book cover to cover. Uh, but anyway, in about a week, this is a nice little book. So that's book of the week, isolated strategy. By Beliovsky and co authors. Book of the week for this week. Yeah, you talk about hardbacks, floppy. I saw uh, uh, a guy on, I think it's, it's, it's a Facebook group, the chess book collectors. And the guy had bought, I bought those three books about the, so that might be book of the week sometime, about the Soviet championships. He bought them in hardback. Of course, as soon as I saw that, I was like, I really wish I had them in hardback. Um, okay, back to the tournament. Let's see if I can lose some more rating points here. There's chess by Jason, guys, over 2,500. Waiting to be paired. I need to get on to Tony about those those mosaic players that keep getting banned. He needs to have a talk with them. Take them to the <laughs> Yeah, really. Take them to the gulag. I saw oh here we go. Oh man, top went the gator. Do I have to have I ever beaten this guy? Oh yeah, I have a pretty good record against him. Five and a half, seven and a half. Uh, what opening is this? I get so tired of this. What on earth? Here. The thing I like about this is a blindside bishop. Take him to the gulag. That's a really... That... that one of those series where uh, Ewan McGregor was riding across uh, Europe. Let's see, basically, it was almost riding across around the world. And um, anyway, he was. I'm gonna take this pawn, play it this way. I guess does this guy go back here and pick it up? I know all you guys know your theory, so somebody can let me know. Yeah, they were riding motorcycles, and they, they actually rode this this highway where a lot of people that worked at the Gulag, I guess, I don't remember if they worked. They call it the Road of Bones or the Highway of Bones or something. Um, a lot of people died, like 10 million people died. They talk about how it got down, down to like 80 below or something. I couldn't believe, believe that. Yeah, I know what you mean, dude. It's easy enough to do. A lot of blunders, as uh, Tartikauer said, said, the blunders are all out there waiting to be found. 
guess he's going to take that with a knight, isn't he? Wouldn't it be funny if I played here and tried to hold that pawn? You know, just for a little while. Not forever, just for a while. Book of the week. I made a list of all the books of the week so I don't repeat any. But, never know. It'd be easy enough to do it. I think Queen. Here. Seems a little brutal, but why not? I mean, I'd rather have like a little more elegant attack than this, but why not? It's really warm in here. Oh, take, take. Even if I get my queen down here, we'll play this. Plus this square's now ready for a rook. And he's attacking this pawn. Capture, capture. Capture, capture. I mean, I'll give that pawn back to him, but I wanted to do a little work for him. At least now I don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. Okay, if you want to. Not want the gator. Does guy have any weaknesses? Oh, could do that. I'll totally finish off my pawn structure. Did he put this piece here? Here and then play here. I want to move my queen to a better square. I don't think that's a better square.
We have to play this guy up first. No, play here. He pushes. Then what happens? After he pushes, I push. Then play here, maybe? I really do want to play this move. First of all, captures, captures, here. Can't play this move. I mean, look at this. If I play here, It's going to end up with a bunch of isolated pawns over there. Maybe here. Here, who makes a move? Bring the knight in. I think that's pretty easy. I gotta do that. I don't think this is any good. I have entered the chat. That's an interesting question. Interesting statement. I've entered the chat. This guy's hardly use any time at all. I've entered the chat. Two of them. I feel like writing, I have not entered the chat. Maybe I'm reading the chat. Uh oh. That's a little more serious than I thought it would be. I only have one legal move. Is he going to sack here and mate me? That, that attack's a lot stronger than I thought it was. I 
Holy smokes. I may be getting mated. In fact, I'm probably getting mated. Do I have any moves? I can't move here. I can't move here or here or here or here or here. Is this my only move? What a nice attack. All right, I think I'm done. Uh, I can't move my king anywhere. I can't retrieve my bishop. I can't capture the piece. Might as well just let him mate me. Rook takes. Nice game. Really nice. That F file thing turned out to be a lot stronger than I thought it would be. Hog guy again. Hey, you know, hog guy's great, but I don't want to sit here and play hog guy all night. This is definitely my last game for the tournament. I guess I'm going to have to work on my game some. I'm going to have to work on some openings and some, you know, some attacks and whatever, some plans. Yeah, exactly, Floppy. Actually, you got me interested in that Yusupov book when you said uh, that it wasn't like openings, middle games, end games. It was like everything put together. I started thinking, you know, that's exactly the kind of thing I need. Because, you know, that period of time I talked about, you know, where I was working on my game and I was playing all those Blitz games and then analyzing them. And again, what I think, looking back on it, I think what I got out of that the most was knowing plans in those positions, knowing what was the right plan. I think it took me, I mean, it definitely took me to a different level. I was a lot better than I had been before. I mean, a lot. I don't want to say a lot. I was half a class better. That's my estimation. Half a class, 100 points. This Tyler 70 guy, five guy down here, I played that guy last week. And uh, he accused me of stalling. And it was like 745 or something. I'm going to go, dude, I'm not stalling at 745. If it's 825, then you could ask that question. You know? Well. Where did he move? This should be seven. <clears throat> you know, I feel like I know how to get a lot better, but I'm just like going... It's just going to be a lot of work. At some point, it's not a game. It's just a lot of work. You got to, you know, you got to read a lot of books and study a lot of games. And I don't know. I mean, I kind of get burned out. I mean, I've been burned out on chess about three times in my life. First chapter is pretty easy, but I like that it covers everything. Second chapter is a little tougher. I, think there will, I hope you don't mind me reading this. I think there will be some really hard stuff, though. The whole point is to fill all the gaps in your fundamentals, like setting over the board, too. Feels like it will really translate to tournament games. Well, you know that thing, I, you know, when you said that about using a board, it reminded me 
that thing about you know that I was talking about where um, the, you know during that time period where I improved um, I did I, I went over those games with a laptop and a 3d board I played out all the variations on the 3d board And sometimes I would just go, well, this is a computer variation, or this is a, a tactical line that, how much am I going to get out of by playing through this tactical line? I don't know that I will that much. So I kind of, you know, some of the stuff I didn't really, I didn't really, uh, you know, some of the lines I looked at them on the computer, like the real super tactical ones, I thought, okay, this this is not something that I can learn from this game. I'm not going to know how to play tactics like that, or maybe even ever. You know, a computer could do it. But this, I didn't even think at the time that what was helping me was learning the plans. It was much later. I was like, how did I get so much better in that time period? What was I learning? I came to the conclusion it was I was learning the typical plans in those positions. The positions I reached during those games, I now knew plans in those positions. And it wasn't conscious, it was subconscious. I, I, it wasn't like I could look at a position and go, oh yeah, I know what to do here, because I saw it in one of my games. It was more like, you know, something else. Maybe I'll take here. It was, I, I believe, subconscious. Okay, I can check him. When he plays up, when I play back, I'm hitting this piece, do I have to defend it? He'll probably castle. And then what do I do? Okay, what if I play check and he plays up and I play here? What if I do that right now? I don't believe he's going to take this piece. I don't think he'll give up a bishop for a knight just to double my pawns. Yeah, I want to. I want to go on Amazon, look at the table of contents if I can to that Yusupov. Yusupov book. Of course, I mean, I got I got. I really need to think about getting rid of some books. I mean, book of the week. We've done about forty of them, thirty or forty. But you know, I'm like, I mean, this is a lot of books. Okay, maybe I should have checked first because he could play here. tactics in this position. I think he's planning on castling that way. I don't know that checking is going to do anything. He could play queen here. I think he would, but he could. I want to kind of bring this piece to the center. Let's see if he's going to castle. Chick who met a man with a really cool last name. I don't believe that's a woman. Check. Maybe I can save this piece. I believe that there are some tactics here.
I want to try to provoke that move. in your your list here queen against pawn just that end game i mean i know that one thoroughly it's just queen against one pawn That's really awesome. That's a nice list. I mean, uh, I'm curious, do you think that that, that opening, I mean, do you think that book is too low a level for you or is it about right, do you think? And what's your, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I don't think it's too high. I mean, it's... Like, I mean, I bought a... I mean, I've I got so many books. I bought a book on... Uh, I bought that book that came out not too long ago about the uh, Meroxy Bind. And I had a Meroxy Bind game a couple of weeks ago. And I was going, you know, it really would have been nice if I read that book. Because then I would know what to do, you know, in this situation. Wow. It's a little surprising. I guess he's just going to let that knight sit on e5. And I'm trying to trap my queen or something. I don't know what to do here. Zero to seventeen hundred. Right. I know Dvoretsky was Yusupov's trainer, and Yusupov, I think, at one point was one of the best players in the world, maybe the top three. That's what I remember, anyway. Maybe instead of moving my queen, I should have played here and then gone here to target this pawn. Would have probably been better. Of course, the knight can go here and here and target this pawn. Sort of. I'm actually kind of waiting on him to do something. Maybe. 
heavy castles. Bishop here. Remove that. Bishop here. Definitely got this pawn blockaded. And he's got a great position. He's got a great plan. I mean, you may even just play here. I don't know. Maybe bring that and start pushing the G pawn. This, this, he's got a great position. A lot of stuff for him to do. No way he's gonna do this. I say that. Watch him do it. And he plays there, attacking this piece. That is my better bishop. Well, now I am going to play that move. Actually wanted to play here, so I could kick kick that knight. As it stands now, I'm gonna have to move it somewhere else to kick it. Take, take, take. Threaten this pawn. Queen's gonna end up with no moves. I don't watch it. This piece. Here. I really do want to move that thing. Knight take, knight takes. Targeting this pawn. I mean, if I move here, he can play here and hit my queen. Okay, I'm going to do this because I've got to get some counterplay in this position. He could play here right now. At least I can get my queen over here. I have to get something going. There's that pawn still. Oh, he's hitting this rook. I don't think I don't think he'll change rooks at all. This piece can go here with check. He moves here. Did I leave 
have a pond hanging. I gotta give it to old hog eye. He will really tear me up sometimes. This looks like one of them. Thankfully, that piece is guarding this square. Between here? I don't think so. Check. Nope, can't get back there because of the night. I may have to play all the way back over here and trade queens. No, I don't think so. He plays this. I'm going to play this check. Okay, so he's going to play check here. I'm going to move. He's going to make me here. Or my queen's got to come back to here. Yeah. Something along those lines. Okay, check here. I move, check here. I move again. Check here. I move here. Because I can't let him check here. Oops. I got this square is a check. I can't get a check in this game. You know. I think he's going to mate me right here. Here and here. Nothing I can do about it. Why would he play that? Wasn't the queen check a mate? Did I miss something? Queen check. I have no inner position, so I can't take the queen. Game over. Queen checks. Oh, he's going to make me. Well, I'm going to let him have it. Oh, did we finish? Is it term? Oh, we finished for the term. Good. I don't want anybody accusing me of stalling. Okay, the tournament's over. Tournament pairings are now closed. Good game, hog eye. He's good. He's really good. This chat is a little distracting. <laughs> I find myself reading it during the games, too. It's raining like crazy here. That was a ferocious game. I think that was a case of somebody being really experienced on the black side of the Sicilian and knowing a lot about what to try to do. And his tactics were good. I think he could have mated me, though. I may be wrong, but I think he could have mated me earlier. Well, I'll look and see. Do computer analysis find out. I'm trying to, did I have a chance to do that? I see he checked. I went to G1. Then he checked with his bishop. I went back to, I took the bishop and then he brought his queen in. Uh, I don't know. Let's see, right here. Yeah, queen. When he played knight f2, check. Queen h4, check. King g1, queen h2, mate. I was right. That was a mate and two. 
But when he checked, oh, yes, you're right. You're right. Instead of moving my king, I could have just moved. I could have captured the knight with my bishop. It was all the way down the board. Yes, you're right. And that would have meant that I was okay in this game. Plus point four. Oh, well. Yeah, and you know, there's there's that, plus there's the fact that I know he's such a strong player, you know. And you think to yourself, strong players don't make mistakes. Time trouble and that problem. You know, but I did beat him once before. I don't remember how. Maybe he flagged. This is incredible. I could have I could have been even I could have actually Bishop B five was a blunder. Queen C four check. King B eight bishop. Oh, I have my own attack here. Queen C four check. That's a force made in fourteen. Floppy, how could I miss that? I have a force mate in four, 14 moves. King b8, bishop checks. If he goes to uh, a8, you mate in how many? Two, something like that. Two moves. He plays king c8, bishop takes d6 check, king b8, bishop, you win his queen. Wow. Even the old hog guy can make a mistake. <laughs> yeah, you got what's wrong with me? I couldn't see a mate in fourteen. I mean, come on, I might as well just quit playing. You know? That's ridiculous. You know, I was talking earlier about the when I was using the you know the game and I was studying uh my blitz games. There was, I think I told you this story before. There was one that where I had a mate in 12. It started with knight e8 check. Moving my, I mean, the king's, his king was already on the seventh or sixth rank. It started with moving the knight, my knight, to the eighth rank. And it will send you to the, <laughs> yeah, to the gulag. No other way to learn. I'll tell you what, there isn't much else to do at, at the gulag. You're going to learn to play chess. You're going to get good at it because it's cold outside and you don't want to go anywhere. Oh, well, I think I'm done for tonight. Don't forget, book of the week, Isolani Strategy by Belyovsky and co-authors. Oh, well, that was fun, even though I lost basically every game, I think. So till next week. Poppy, I'll see you later. Maybe we can look at some of them on Friday. But hopefully you had some more interesting games than I did. You know? All right, dude. See you on Friday. Everybody else, I say bye.